Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. We're going to be talking about the M1952 French Military Canteen. And this one is a an original. It's not one of the reproductions that you see out on the market now. Um, and let me get this thing unpacked so it's easier for me to film and we'll get started. Okay, so here's the whole set unpacked. You get a nice aluminum canteen, which is slightly larger than the USGI one. You get a nice aluminum butterfly handled canteen cup and a nice canvas cover that has um, wool on the inside to help with uh, keeping the canteen and stuff cool or warm, okay? So I think I wanna start with, let's talk about the canteen first. And like I said, this was this is an original. Uh, it's not one of the remakes by Miltech. And how you tell that is, is this chain, is what I can basically tell. This one has a more coarser, bigger links on here in the chain. The one from Miltech that's the remake looks like it has a, uh, looks like a, almost like a, a heavy necklace chain on here. Now let me say right in the beginning that looking at the reviews of what other people have said, there's nothing wrong with the Miltech canteen at all. It's aluminum. It's just like this one. But for me being a collector, I like to collect the stuff that, the real stuff, not uh, reproductions. Okay, so you can see here that I have a manufacturer mark that is stamped right on the bottom. There's no date, but I think, let me read off my paper here. It is made by, sorry, I'm moving it around, A. Bougeit. If I'm saying that right, please forgive me if I'm not saying it right. But that's the stamping that I have on the bottom of my canteen and also on the bottom of my canteen cup. You can't see it as good here, but in person you can see it really well. Okay. When I received mine, it was in really good shape like this, just a couple of dents. Uh, it was very clean on the inside. The cap, though, the seal was in pretty bad shape. It was this red rubber seal. Let me flip it over here. You can see it was cracked up pretty good. So that wasn't going to hold water very well. So I pulled this out with a small screwdriver and traced it and made a new gasket with cork. This is, let me get see if I can get the light right. There it is. Eighth inch gasket grade cork. And I just traced it out and uh, replaced the seal, and now it's good as new. But I'm gonna hang on to this one and keep it with the kit for collecting sake. You know, I can slip this one back in there if I want to sell it as a collector one day. So that's the only thing I found wrong with this kit. There was nothing wrong with it. Okay, so it's got a pretty wide neck. You can see here it's probably about an inch and a half, maybe more. Yeah, about an inch and a half, maybe a little bit more wide neck. Now that's really nice. The cap is made of this Bakelite material. Um, so it's, uh, it's not resistant to fire if you wanted to put water directly in the fire and boil it, but it looks like right here, you could take your knife and spread that apart real easy and remove that chain and the whole cap if you needed to put it in the fire. So let's, let me compare this to the USGI canteen that I have here. This is a standard plastic one quart canteen and you can see it's much larger. You know, this being one quart, this one holds almost a quart and a half. Okay, so that's a pretty nice deal there, okay? Um, you can see here that the neck on this one is about an inch, I'm guessing using my finger here whereas compared to this one was about an inch and a half. Okay, you can see the difference. That's, that's really nice, okay? Okay, so let's go on. I've repositioned everything. Let's go on to the cup. The cup is also made of aluminum. And it's got this nice, uh, looks like a, just like the US military, very similar, not exactly butterfly handles on the cup. It's got a rolled edge, which is nice. 
all aluminum, nice grade aluminum. I can't, I can squeeze this as hard as I can with both hands and it is not collapsing one bit. So that, that makes up for a nice canteen cup that transfers heat really well. It's not going to burn right here in the middle. Okay, another thing I like about this, mine does this, I don't know if all of them do, but it's got this, these little bends in the handles. So when I do this, they lock and they stay right there. Okay, I actually had to pull them apart to make them come apart. Okay, uh, they are aluminum now, the handles are not steel, so you can bend these really easy, but they're easily bent back so that they lock together. That's nice when you have it sitting on them on like a stove or something and the handles sometimes want to fold over on you next to the fire this will keep them right away from it okay and that's a really nice feature about this i i forgot to measure but there's a line that's made into this it's for measuring for the soldier you can see it on the inside there I'm not sure how much that water line is right there. I forgot to do that before this video, but that that would be nice to have, you know, if it if it you know, for instance, if it was a cup. That looks like what about what it is, about a cup. That would be nice to have for for cooking reasons, okay? Okay, just for some size comparison, I brought out my USGI butterfly handle canteen cup and they are pretty much identical in size okay really really close in size and height also we can compare to my 1944 USGI cup and still pretty much the same in height pretty close okay so you might ask, okay, you know, I'm not really crazy about an aluminum uh, canteen cup. Will the French, the larger French canteen fit into my USGI stainless steel cups? And the answer is somewhat, okay? It fits in there, but not all the way down. As you can see there, it, it's gonna stick up some. That's as far down as it will go in the butterfly one. As for the older 1944 one, because of these rivets back here, it doesn't go no farther than that right there. So it's kind of a yes and no answer, all right? Also, the very next question you may have is, what about the current canteen cup lids that are out there? This is the one from the Pathfinder School with the three holes drilled in, made for USGI surplus canteens. Will it fit? And the answer is yes. Okay, with a little little adjustment. I had to pull out on this canteen a little bit by grabbing it and pulling as hard as I could. I mean really hard to get this thing to really fit right, okay? And it fits okay. Alright? What about the heavy cover lid? This is the one that's harder to find nowadays, but a lot of you have it. Will it fit the French military? Yes, perfectly. It's not a tight fit, okay, but it will fit on top and help decrease your boil time. Then the next question you might have is, will the USGI canteen cup stove fit it? And the answer is sort of. Okay, it's, it's a pretty tight fit. That's about as far as you can really push it down. And then it's really tough to get it off. You could carry it like that if you wanted to, the stove and the French cup, but it's, it's a little bit of a tight fit, at least this one is. Okay, so there's that one. And then also, I have here the canteenshop.com grill top stove for the USGI cups and let's see if it will fit. And that's as far down as I can get that without, see it hits on that little marker there. So that's that's a no, no good situation. So no definitely on this, maybe with the USGI canteen cup stove. 
Okay, so let's go on to the cover. Like I said, it was a nice canvas. It's kind of a heavy canvas. Really, really nice. This is an original also. There's a place to run your belt through here so you can carry it on your belt, on your pants. It used to have the little uh, wire for hooking it to a pistol belt, but that is missing with this kit when I bought it. And I wasn't too worried about that, but it would fit in this loop right here. If I could find another wire, I'll put it on there. But uh, you know, some of these I've seen have two sets of buttons here. And I assume that's for if you're carrying the, the French military stove, which I've never, I've only seen a couple pictures of it. But it goes down here in the bottom, and I would assume that you would need that extra space to snap it. And that's, that's my assumption. I really don't know. Okay. Um, over here is the manufacturer, and I cannot read that very well. Okay, so I'm not even going to try. This other flap has another stamp that says Army, A-R-M-E-E, -E, and there's a date, 19, and wouldn't you guess it, the last two numbers you can't see very good. It's 19 blank 1, I think, right underneath where it says Army. It's real small right there. I can't quite make it out. I can make out the 1, the 9, blank, and then maybe a 1 or a 7. I can't tell. But it's pretty cool. So you might ask, okay, well, I have, I have the USGI Molly pouch, okay? And it's got these nice pouches on the sides. You can attach it to your pack or carry it on a belt or even hook a strap to this and carry it. Will this French military kit fit this? And the answer is yes. So let me put it in there for you. Okay, the cup goes right down in there. Here's our French canteen. And right there, you can adjust the strap and it will snap, okay? So if you wanted to carry extra capacity with a quart and a half, this, will, this kit will fit this USGI um, Molly 2 canteen um, holder okay that's a lot of words to say so um, yeah and I believe I would I would I would believe that also the Miltech version the uh, reproduction would probably do exactly the same but what I've seen everybody is very happy even with the reproduction ones the advantages of the reproduction was you get a for sure a clean canteen and a brand new canteen cup but the only thing that's used is the cover that I've seen. They, these military surplus places are pairing the Miltec cup and canteen with a used pouch. And they're all, they all seem to be in really good shape. So I would, not, I would not hesitate to have a reproduction one if you wanted to use it all the time, okay? Okay, I've assembled it all back into the original cover. The cup is in here and everything, and I want to give you some weights. Now, this is with the canteen empty. It weighs one pound, six ounces, and that's not too bad for a canteen that's this big and the cup and a thick canvas cover. Okay, and that's about 629 grams according to my scale. So, all in all, I think this is a great piece, whether you have the uh, reproduction Miltech one that you're going to use all the time or you're a collector like me and you can find one of these still I, it took me a little while to find this one they're getting a little more scarce but uh, you know mine came in really great condition the only thing is was the the gasket and that was no big deal I, I have no problem putting the cork one in there because I have all those materials already at home so if you like what you've seen Please click subscribe on the screen now and follow me. I try to do videos like this of military surplus and um, outdoor stuff like kayak fishing, kayak camping, um, things like that. Um, 
just give me a thumbs up on this video if you liked it and uh, that lets me know that I you know that I'm doing a good job that you like what I'm doing also leave me a comment something maybe I left out about this guy or or something you know I didn't cover please let me know my next video should be in the woods cooking with this guy I'm gonna take it with me this Saturday out to the woods and cook up something so uh, be on the lookout for that video it should be the next one in line so thanks very much for watching and I hope you have a great day